What is up YouTube? I'm back once again with another Razer Pocket Mod update. So from the last video you may have seen the basic uh, frame of the Pocket Mod and um, it basically finished straight after painting. Um, so now I'm going to be obviously uh, giving you guys a rundown of what I have got so far and what I'm planning on still getting. So um, without any further ado, i just like to get straight into this video and show you guys what stuff I have. So um, I've got all my batteries lined up right now. Um, so we've got the traditional uh, LG HE2 batteries, which I have used um, throughout my Powerwall. I've got some LG DBH G21865s, which are basically... 3 amp hour cells. Um, I've tested every single cell here and I've got 2600 milliamp hours. Um, these cells in particular are quite nice um, as they give quite a bit of amps. They are designed for high current draw with drill batteries and stuff. So I have three of those that are going to be in parallel. I've got some Samsung's as well, 3 amp hour cells, they're high amperage draw. And basically I'm going to have 14 in series um, when I charge them with my uh, ISDT T8 charger, uh, it's 30 amp, I'll put a uh, pitch on the screen. Um, so with that charger, I'll be charging these in 7S um, and putting those two in parallel, um, the series connections. Um, so basically, um, it's just, it's quite self-explanatory. I'm just going to be uh, splitting them, having two balance connectors coming out. When I charge them, I'll disconnect the middle series connector that connects them, that connects the two 7S packs together to get 14. And then with that, um, I'll also be charging at half the amperage for each pack. So if it's 30 amps, I'll be charging at 15 per pack, which should be decently fast. Um, I'll be powering the charger straight off the power wall, so I should be able to get uh, enough current into it that it doesn't drop. And also, I'll be ordering a 24 volt. 1000 watt 40 amp power supply. I'll leave that on the screen as well so you can see that. Um, so it's a pretty uh, low end uh, eBay power supply. So hopefully it is rated at what it says. If not, I will just have to make do with what I have. And I won't be able to charge as fast as I expect. So my theory behind this is to have a small battery and then having it charge really quick. So the e bike will always have a battery it will always have a power supply in it so I can plug it into a wall anywhere I uh, wish to plug it in and charge um, extremely fast hopefully so um, that's obviously going to be really nice if I can manage to find a power point if not um, I still have uh, quite a bit of capacity here as well with these high um, density cells so I'm going to have this pack and then I'm going to have another pack in the middle of the frame I'll have a pitch on the screen hopefully You'll kind of see the frame where the seat is and then below that there's a little square section where the two lead acid batteries used to be. And basically that will be my other pack. This is mainly a range, range extender pack that I'll have on the deck. So you can see um, it's a little bit thicker than the thickness of the deck. Um, it's only going to come out this much and that's practically under the seat if I can explain it. Hopefully the next video I'll explain it a little bit better. But your feet don't go there, they usually sit, you know, right towards the front, so uh, it shouldn't really be taking up much space at all, and uh, it'll definitely be worth it with the extra capacity I'm getting, um, but with that, I've also made up a connector, uh, it's got two XT60 connectors uh, to take more um, current, um, these wires were too thick to actually go into the normal XT60, so I've used both ends but I can get it to focus. So one whole XT60 connector is for positive and one's completely for negative. So um, it's a very thick cable. It's like 8 gauge or something. It should be able to take uh, the 40 to 50 amps that this um, motor would draw at max current. I'm also going to be using a couple of key switches. So hopefully... So hopefully with this... I will be able to uh, lock a couple of things with the charging and stuff so um, hopefully I can get this key to um, activate a relay 
which disconnects the series connection between uh, the two 7S packs that I'm making and that will hopefully make it easier for me to charge uh, when I need to I just have to turn that key off pull the key out and then I've disconnected the series connector and then when I want to start the bike up again I just turn that key clicks on the relay and connects these both in series again so um, let me know in the comments what you think about that um, I think that'd be pretty cool to do um, I have more keys as well so I'm going to be doing a bit of experimentation with that um, I've got my T8F chain as well which is a lot thicker than I expected I've got chain links for that um, I'm also thinking about getting a 54 teeth uh, 8 TF chain uh, to hopefully uh, kind of make my gear ratio a little bit uh, less demanding on the motor. Um, it's going to be a 6 to 1 ratio rather than a 4.8 to 1. So hopefully I'll be able to go a bit faster. I'll probably lose a little bit of speed, maybe 15, 20 Ks, but I don't really care. It's mainly acceleration I'm after. Um, that's probably the most thrilling thing of having an electric bike is mainly just the acceleration. So I'm planning on doing that. I'll have both gears so I can change it if I want to. But I obviously want to use the big gear first before I um, bust out this chain and all that kind of stuff and make it smaller. So um, that's that. Um, hopefully my charger will come in soon. I'll do a review on that. It's a very nice charger. Uh, quite expensive as well. Hopefully it doesn't break. And I will be also doing some more Tesla Power update videos as well. Um, it's been quite a while since I've done a decent update on that. Um, I am planning on uh, mounting solar panels on my water tank, so we're still uh, trying to get all the parts ready for that to properly put it up there. And we've also, you know, got to find the time as well to do it as well. But um, other than that, that's just another quick update on this power wall, on this DIY. Uh, 18650 powered electric razor pocket mod uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy um, hopefully the next video will be a little bit more enjoyable but this is just a quick rundown and I hope you guys enjoyed